Stavery, please. Spelunky 2. Alright, so, um, I'm supposed to be doing, um, Disco Elysium, but I've actually got some plans to do that, um, in the future when I've got, uh, some more time on my own. Uh, right now, I've been wanting to kind of give that the time I think the game deserves, so I've been playing through my quicker games. So I'm just gonna do a quick game of Spelunky, unless I die, like, super, super, super fast. Just one game. Alright. Um, recently, the kids have really gotten into D&D, um, &D, so we've been playing a lot of that. That's been a lot of fun. Um, it's been, you know, very different. I've been DMing. Um, we found this website called the D&D uh, &D Adventure Club that makes um, D&D &D, uh, campaigns for kids. Um, it's kind of like a nice mix where it's not super kiddy. Like it's meant for like a, um, it's actually meant so that the kids can DM for their friends. So, um, oh boy, there's so many bats in this one. Oh my God. Um, oops, sorry dog. Um, oh crap, these guys. Um, where did he go? Did he die? No, he's just trapped over there. Oh my god! What? This level is not... There we go. Alright, cool. Let's grab this dog. Now we really need him. Um, so as I was saying, it's kind of meant for... Um, like a... Uh, about a 12-year-old to be DM. And they, and the, they should be able to play with as young as a 5-year-old, um, potentially. Um, uh, but I've been DMing so that all the kids can play, rather than worrying about someone having to be the DM. Um, and that's been a ton of fun. That they, they really put a lot of thought into their adventures. They look really cool. Um, and they're a lot of fun to play. Alright, I'm gonna let him go in there. Grab the key. Um, it's funny because... Um, I was recently listening to my brother, my brother, and me, and they had they had this D and D thing they started like eight years ago with their dad, um, and uh, they were saying that you know their dad is like super nerdy, but somehow he had gone like his whole life without playing any um, D and D, uh, and that's basically how I feel. I don't know exactly why um, I never ended up <coughs> playing. Um, when I look back. I remember in middle school, um, one time, um, one of the kids I knew, I saw him in the library and he happened to have, like, one of the player's guides that he was reading, and he was, like, filling out a character sheet, and I didn't quite understand, I think I remember asking him about it, but I didn't quite 100% understand what it was, so I never got into it. Um, my parents were not super duper religious, where, like, we couldn't, oh my god! Where we couldn't watch, like, um, even though it wasn't around at the time. Like, we would have been able to watch Harry Potter, that's fine. But, like, um, um, you know, I, they, they were a little suspicious of the comic book shop because people used to play uh, Magic uh, the Gathering in there. I think they had heard some stuff about that somewhere. Um, so I, oh crap, so I don't know 100% what would have happened, but, uh, I'd like to think that maybe I could have played, although, um, you know, as the as they said, and I think in my brother, my brother and me, you know, one of the things when you were a young nerd was like, well, you would say, at least I don't play, you know, D&D &D or whatever, right? Um, so I don't know, maybe I would have, in my efforts to fit in with other people, I would have found that to be a bridge too far, maybe? I'm not sure. Okay, cool, maybe I can, there we go. It's in here. In a secret tunnel. Oh boy. Oh, I think he went back to sleep. Alright, so lots of money for me. That's good. Where do I come out? No, I can't come out there. Gotta come back up this way. Which means watch out for that guy coming to life. There we go. Alright, it's a decent run so far. Not the best run. I've gotten hurt a bit more than I should have. But, uh, oh cool. Let's uh, sacrifice this guy to Kali. Nice. Alright. 
there's uh no i can't really sacrifice a snake or anything all right can i sacrifice that to call it no only living things i only recently i think maybe reading reading through um Derek yang's um spelunky um what's that called uh boss fight games i think is how i learned that um Probably was a real deity. You know, real in the sense that, like, it's from some other culture. He didn't make it up for this game. Oh, right. It was, um, no, it's that's not what it was. It was, um, I was listening to, um, uh, Unspooled, and they were talking about the Indiana Jones, um, the one with Short Round, um, the Temple of Doom, I guess. And, um, they have a, the people there worship Kali. I kill him? Oh, I did. Bummer. Yikes. There we go. Alright, let's see what... This can help me at all with uh, this dude. Throw! Nope, that didn't do anything. Well, I do have sticky bombs, though. How many bombs do I have? Three bombs left. Oh, boy. I probably would like him to break the wall first so that uh, I don't have to waste a bomb on that. Yo, what's up? There you go. Oh boy, wasted a bomb. There we go. Alright, cool. Got some turkey. Spider. Uh, oh yeah, we do have the eye, right? So we'll go this way. Let's see if we can go fight Dracula. I Whoa! I don't die. Stupid bat. Okay. Wee! All right. There's a cat there. Um, there's a helper I could sacrifice to Kali. Come on, helper. Follow me. Oh boy. That was scary. Ow, ow. No, no, stop hitting me. No, no, stop, 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 stop. stop. Okay, 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 okay. I don't mean it. 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 Shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was burnt to a crisp by some lava. All right, well, this has been Eric Plain, Spelunky. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Spelunky, too, I mean.